It's a perennial hotspot for prostitution. Bissonette Road on the city's southwest side, known as the Trap. So well known. We're closing this operation down. That city and county officials announced this crackdown back in August. We want to take back this part of town. We want to change the reputation. But on the very same day as this crime fighting initiative, we spotted this, a Houston Public Works truck stopping to talk with this woman in the prostitution zone. It's bothersome. It's embarrassing. And it's not tolerated, says Eric Dargan with Houston Public Works. After we shared our video, the city launched an immediate investigation. We also went back and poured a couple other days just to make sure that this wasn't a one-time incident. It wasn't just one time. This GPS tracker data from the city truck shows the same employees were slowly driving around the same prostitution hotspot the day before. And the day after, they were in another part of town known for prostitution activity all while falsifying their whereabouts on official city documents. Their work orders show them on one part of town and GPS show them in another part of town. Therefore, they were not given the city of Houston uh, honest day's work for honest day's pay. The two employees are no longer getting paid. Public Works fired one of them and is finalizing the other's termination. We want the public to know and trust that we are doing what they're paying us to do. The city's Eric Dargan apologized to taxpayers for these workers' behavior, but he adds it does not reflect the work ethic of 99% of city employees. Dargan says if you see questionable activity, call the city's 311 helpline. And just like with this case, the city will investigate. Jeremy Rogowski, KHOU 11 Investigates.